All right, so uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Josh Halpern, who will be uh, giving our next session. So Josh has been a key uh, instrumental person in Libretex development for, uh, well, since the beginning, basically. Um, and so it's been uh, great to work with him through the years. And uh, he is a pretty strong expert at a lot of parts. And so we've decided to slip him in here to talk about remixing. Um, and so this will be a fairly brief presentation from Josh about how to use the remixer. And then we're following that with um, a session where you'll be able to hands-on, dig in, and actually do it yourself. So Josh will sort of show us how it works, and then we'll immediately move into some breakout rooms where we'll have a half a dozen people or so per room with one or two uh, Libre texts. Libre texts experts in the room, um, and so that you'll be able to actually do things hands on yourself. All right, uh, go ahead, Josh. I'll pass things to you. Well, first of all, I put some uh, URLs into the chat that we'll reference along here. Let me take the screen. Uh, someone was once so foolish as to ask my wife why she talked so fast, and she said, "Because I have so much to say." And there's really a lot of content here. So it's going to be that way. Uh, Dell showed you this. And this talk, uh, th this kind of uh, schematic of how to build a Libre text, uh, this talk is going to talk, is going to be about this area here, how to see if you need remixing, how to actually do the remixing and go on. Uh, our friends at Sacramento City College built an on-ramp. And the first thing you have to do is identify is attend a workshop. You have to identify the course you want to build and the topics you want to build and find OER for the topics in Libertex or elsewhere. Librarians are extremely helpful in this. Now, what most of this talk is going to be about is describing the map you need to build for your course, evaluating it, and creating a map for actually remixing. So to start off with, we want to talk about this part, how to build the map you need for remixing. Um, so the simplest way to do this is to go to a textbook or some material you have and Look at the table of contents. This is going to be your course map. There are more complicated ways of doing this. Uh, the Dutton Institute at the uh, university, uh, at Penn State University, have built a set of spreadsheets for doing this where you identify the module, the learning objectives, the level of the objectives, and so on. And then finally, at the end, you put the chapter that you, uh, the chapter or the page that you want to use. Now, LibreText is a. Let me move this over a bit. LibreText requires URLs to do the remixing, so you need to build a remixing map. It's different from your course map. This is a simple one that's in the construction guide. Uh, tells you here that's just a single book and it's being rearranged into your book. With colleagues at Prince George's Community College, we've come up with a something that's a little more complex, but you can give it to your instructional committee, identifying the course content, the outcome, and then the OER content that you're gonna use in your textbook in the order you're going to use it. Another colleague, Charles Perry, uh, does something a little more complex. And I think this, this has gone very well with the uh, OER committee and the uh, instructional committees at PG. Here you have the learning outcome, the component, the Libertex material, and so forth. Now, once you've got this, you take this map and you can turn it easily into a remixing map. To go from here to the remixing map is relatively quick. And then to actually remix it and produce 
the first edition is takes about half an hour. From this, you can then generate a published text after you do some curation, and you can bring your published text into your classroom. There's a very nice talk about how to formatively re redo this and get a much more polished and useful text. I'm not doing so well here. Okay. So these are some places to learn more. And what I want to do now is I'm going to look at how I took Charles Perry's uh, book and I turned it into, I did the remixing. So you can see here and you have all have access to this. This is the chapter of the book I'm going to generate. This is the section. It's in the business library. Some of it's in the social science or the uh, health sciences library. On the bookshelves of courses, the, the section it's in, the book itself, the chapter in the book, and the page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fold this up. And I'm going to go to the remixer. When you go to the remixer, you go to the remixer simply by clicking on remixer here. And what I want to do is I want to give a name to this course. So I'll call this, uh, oh, what did you Charles call it? Anyhow. Um, Diverse, it's of course about diversity. Now I want to go, I'm in the chemistry library, but I'm going to go to the business library. My apology, I missed how you got into the remixer. Oh, oh I see it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry to stop. Thank you. It's on the blackboard. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to go to the bookshelves. And I need management. And I need to find organizational behavior open stacks here. Oops. Uh, I can look at it. Let's find that again. There it is. And I need diversity in organization. And I want all the pages in here to be my first chapter. So I'm gonna bring this in, it's a little touchy. That'll put it into the front matter. There it is. I've turned the auto number off, but I'm gonna turn it on here. I'm gonna auto number this, uh, it'll show as soon as I... Okay, so now it's auto numbered. Now I'm gonna go to a different book. So I have to fold this up. That's this book here. And I need managing demographic and cultural diversity. And I need uh, this. This is now going to be the second chapter of this book. Uh, and I need cultural diversity. So I'm going to put that in the second chapter here. And whoops. Okay, there's cultural diversity. And now I want uh, same book. So I'm going to bring the demographic diversity in under here. And then I need, okay, I need to go this Lumen book. For some reason, um, well, okay. So this is Lumen Learning and it's Organizational Behavior, Human Relations. And it's, Oops, module two. 
somewhere. Uh, social diversity in the wake of race. So it should be here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Social diversity in the workspace, gender diversity. That's here. It's going to be there. Notice everything renumbers. And we have this structure, chapter, pages. And we're now going to go and get uh, back to the bookshelves. Okay, bookshelves, and I need entrepreneurship. Okay, so that's management. No, no, sorry. Bookshelves, entrepreneurship. Why doesn't, oh. so I'm missing some, something there, but I'll go get it later. You can always come back and do this. You can re-remix it after this. So let me look here. There's something I want to get from social sciences. So I change, switch over to social sciences. It's in a book that someone created. Barriers. Okay, expand it out. In here, prejudice and discrimination. This one here, this is going to be in chapter three. Oh, sorry, it did come over, but it came over as a chapter. So I have to just move it up here. Okay, and I can continue doing this and build up the book. Now I want to name this. I brought this chapter title in from diversity and organization. And I want to name that. So I just double click on it. It's a chapter and I'm going to call it uh, And I'll save my edit. Now I can continue to do this, doing this and I'll build up a book. Now, let's say I'm finished with everything I want to do. I don't need this chapter so I can get rid of it and so forth and so on. I'm going to build the book. Save to server. Now, this book will be put automatically into your Sandbox. Okay, and when you're when you're through editing it, you contact us and we move the remix to your campus hub. When you do that, if there's not a campus hub in the library for your institution, send us a logo. Uh, so my text is going to be available here, and you can see there it is. Uh, we'll get into this soon, but notice that each chapter has an index. Now, I want to show you how that index is built. It's built on the fly. All that index is built by this one command in the chapter. So there's some text, a picture, and then this is built on the fly. Also built on the fly, here's the book, that's a little symbol for a book, is the table of contents. This looks very, very, I, I don't know how I would put it. Uh, it's very uh, sparse. In fact, 
we have to first compile the book, which has to be done by request. And you'll see the entire table of contents. We also have some page settings on every page. One of the important things is you can put meta tags here. The reason that's important is if I go to back matter, the index is built out of the meta tags. So for example, if I go to this area here, you'll see there are already meta tags that were brought over when you did the remixing. You can add your own meta tags there. Okay. So, yep, that's true. If you drag your chapter to the wrong level, you can just slide it around. I think at this point, it's probably best, let me go back to the remixer. Let's say I want to take something out or put something in. I want to switch modes to the edit remix mode. I'm doing this as demo. That's the book I want to work on. Here's the book. Now, let's say I wanted to uh, continue working on here. And the place I need to go to is um, Medicine Courses Lumen. So that's <clears throat> Medicine Courses Lumen. Um, Contemporary health issues. Seem to be two copies of that here. Assuming this is a little more modern. Uh, okay. Intro to personal health. Ah, okay. That's the one I wanted. 1.4. Everything renumbered, except I put it in the wrong place. And I put it in the wrong place again. This can get a little frustrating sometimes. A good mouse is a good friend. OK, so I've added what I want, or perhaps I wanted to take something out. Save to server. <coughs> the bigger the book, the longer it takes. Okay. So now you can see that I've added that section. And I can build the book that way. And we'll have, a, I think the talk after this is going to talk about how to actually edit these things. But I want to show you why you have to edit. If you want to edit it, what you have to do. Notice this little fork here. This is part of the editing. Let me look at what's in here. It's simply a link. It takes to where it came from. Now, I can't edit that link. It doesn't belong to me. But if I... Click on this fork. Okay. And now I go edit. It appears as text. It's HTML. And I can edit this. I can add things here. Okay, so I can save it. And there's my edit. Uh, I think that's about what I wanted to show you. We can go over some other things if you want. Uh, but 
uh, I think I'm going to stop here with the presentation. Thank you, Josh. And there are a few questions in the uh, chat, but I think what we'll do is move into our breakout rooms and then we're in smaller groups and we can kind of address these as we go. And Josh's intent here was to go quickly and just give you a sense of what's happening. Hopefully it's enough to get you started. And then as you, you can dig into it here when we go to these breakout rooms and that'll be a chance to really dig in and, and find out what's going on. Okay. So I think then I'll ask Amber to go ahead and push us into breakout rooms. Mm. And you'll have uh, 